Welcome back to Mini Tip Monday. Today, we're going to address the issue of where the spindle gets parked when the job is complete. Let's head out to the shop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come on. So this is default behavior. When the job is complete, we're going to go back to our X, Y, zero of our workpiece. And while not wrong, um, it kind of gets in the way because after every job, I have to move the spindle up and out of the way and I'd like to automate that process. All right, so to edit our post processor, fairly simple. We're going to open up VCarn. We're going to come over here to Save Toolpath. And we will see our machine. Next to our machine, we have Manage Machine Configuration. And down here, we have our machine. And here is our post processor that we're using. So I don't want to edit our original post processor. I want to make a new one so I can kind of flop back and forth between them, especially if I make a mistake. So if I click this, right click and open file location, you'll see that it brings us to our folder with our post processor. Um, it is in uh, uh, C program data, Vetric VCarve Pro version 12 in this case, and then my post P is where we're at right here. So I wanna take this file we're going to right click, we're going to copy, and I'm just going to open up a temporary folder and I'm going to paste this in our new temporary folder. So now this is our copy. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click this again and rename it. And I'm going to call this new StepCraft. And then right click and edit in Notepad. Under post name, I'm going to do the same new step craft and then scroll down all the way to the bottom and where it says uh, commands output at the end of file begin footer these are the ones we want to change and i want to replace that with these so i'll leave these on the screen and let's talk about what these are so that you can modify them so they work best for you so g90 is just uh, setting absolute values. So when you say uh, Z1, it doesn't add one, it moves to Z1. Uh, M9 turns off the coolant. I don't think anyone's using coolant, but it doesn't hurt to have that in there. M5 is going to turn off the spindle. Now G53 is move to machine coordinates, and that's what we want. So when you're figuring out where you want to move things to in UCCNC, hit this button here. That'll bring up your machine coordinates and move around and get a feel for what you want it to do. In my case, I want to move the Z-axis up as high as I can to get things out of the way. Now, Z0 is the very top and it goes negative as it goes down. So I want to come almost to zero, not quite. So I'm going to do 0 0.1, but it's going to be negative 0 0.1 in this case because... Um, we're, we're going negative and I don't want to go to zero because uh, I want to just stay off the limit switches. So we're going to go negative 0 0.1. Then I want to move to the left. So um, on our M500 uh, in our X axis, far left is zero, far right in this case is 351. So I'm going to go X 0.1, so same thing, almost all the way to the left to give us just a little bit of room. If you wanted to go to the right, you might put X 350 here. So put whatever works for you, but we're gonna go X 0.1. And then I wanna go back. Our M500 all the way back on my machine is 542. I don't wanna go all the way back. I wanna stop a little bit shy, so let's call it 400. So with Z negative 0.1, I'm up almost all the way. Then I'm going to go left almost all the way and then back, you know, a little bit more than three quarters through the machine. Now I could combine my X and Y and have it go at an angle. You could have it work around something. Uh, maybe if you tend to clamp your work pieces from the side, you just want it to go straight back, or you maybe you want to go into the middle back, do whatever works for you. Uh, but for the sake of just this video, we're going up, left, and back. So now that we have those numbers figured out, uh, we're going to save this file and open up, go back to our VCarve, 
and we're just going to add a second post processor. So I'm going to come over here, browse, go to our temp, our new Stepcraft one. And it says, would you like to make this the default post processor? Yes, yes, I would. And then close and apply and OK. And now we will see two. Uh, you have to close it for some reason for them both to show up. So we have our new. It is in bold, so that is our default. And now when we export our G code, so we're going to do this circle, it should go cut our circle and instead of coming back here it's going to go up over and then back all right let's see what we got perfect that's what we wanted so there you go we've edited our post processor changed our end position for our job, and made the machine just a little bit easier to use. Hope this helps you. See you next week.